hey, it's Zach. I made this thing called Nobbler 3 that I want to show you today. Nobbler gives you the fastest way to map your iPad as a control surface to parameters in your live set. So let's see what that means. First thing you need to do is add it to your live set. And then you can go to somewhere else in your live set. And so all I have to do is click a parameter in the live set, and then I touch an unmapped parameter on the iPad. And now that iPad slider is controlling that live set parameter. And I can repeat that as much as I'd like. So I'll do these, I'll do some resonance, I'll do the, the gain on this device. Um, and I can control all of them simultaneously because the iPad supports multi-touch. Let's do that in a different track here. I've got a Val, it's an audio track. I've got a Valhalla de delay. Uh, so maybe I want to um, control the mix and the feedback of that. We can even map aux sends in our mixer or our master track volume or the actual master track volume, uh, whatever we want to do. Um, and it's all right there at your fingertips. Um, if you decide you don't want to map something, uh, you just tap the X in the corner and then tap the thing that you want to unmap. And now it's unmapped. And as you can see, one, one thing that might be confusing is these two tracks are similar colors and they're similar colors on the iPad too. So uh, one thing that Nobbler supports is it's aware of color and names of things and will update the iPad display immediately. So if I pick orange for this wavetable device, all of the sliders for that are now orange. If I change this to like cool synth, uh, now it says cool synth on the iPad. Similarly, the device name, um, let's call this buzzer. And now it says buzzer for uh, the things that relate to that device. You may have noticed as uh, we're going through this that there's a slider at the bottom of the iPad that keeps moving. And this is uh, a separate device that I've integrated into Nobbler called Current Param Knob. And this basically lets you um, just whatever the last parameter that you've selected in the, in the live set is controllable with that slider. And so uh, even if I navigate away, now it's no longer selected, but it's still controlled by that slider until I pick something else. Uh, some different parameter to be controlled by that slider. Um, so that can be real handy if you're trying to dial something in. It's a real high resolution slider uh, and your mouse can be busy doing other things like maybe editing MIDI data or something like that. And the other uh, control at the bottom of the iPad here is the record enable button. If you're like me, you like to record automation, but you have to always remember to disarm the track that you want to record automation into. This button just gives you a real handy mouseless way of making sure that you're not going to overwrite your MIDI or audio data in that track when you record that automation. One big advantage of this device over an external MIDI controller is that it allows you to switch between uh, projects or songs really easily and the iPad is always up to date. So I'm gonna save this as a video. Um, I'm gonna open another project that I was working on, a little test, and you'll see as soon as that loads, the iPad display is updated with uh, the parameters that were saved with this song, if I go back to what we were just working on, um, we'll see we're right exactly back where we were with all the values set, all the colors and names and everything set. And so it makes it real easy to flip between songs that you're working on. Cool. Well, that's it for the quick overview of the Nobbler 3. I'd appreciate any feedback you have, any questions you have. If you run into any problems, reach out. I'll put my email address in the description of this video. And happy Noblin. Bye.